This is Moonwalker at Death Place for Walkthroughs with Luan of Dragon Age Origins. As you can see, we uh, got up to the point where we were running from them, but this time Kogrim chose to follow us from where last time when it crashed he didn't. But he followed us this time and that's where we're picking it up at. Done well! <sighs> There's a nice axe for Stan. Okay, let's save it so I don't lose it again like we did last time. Okay, Liliana. Quietly then. To the shadows. <laughs> Light as a feather, silent as a wraith. Quiet as she goes, right? We'll make a good team. <laughs> She's a worse shot than uh, Luan is. Victory shall be mine! Let's get started. Who said that? Mm -hmm. I shall. Let's get started. This should be easy enough. Enemy ahead. Watch out.
They say music soothes the savage beast, but I'm not going to test that theory. Allow me. I On. could do that for you. What is this place? It's different from the rest of the ruins. I bid you welcome, Milgram. I am here for the urn of sacred ashes. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. So I have to fight you. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... All right, let's get this over with then. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering and the suffering of others. Tamlin was one of your tribe, a blood brother. You left him in the ruins, left him to his fate. Tell me, Pilgrim, did you fail Tamlin? Yes, I could have pulled him away from that mirror. Thank you. That is all I wish to know. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Is there any religion that does not thrive upon guilt like a glutton at his lunch? No, I thought not. You could not have known what would happen. You did what you thought was best. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. 
You wonder, don't you? If you should have died, and not him. I... Yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you? When all know that the Maker has left, he spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. As you wish. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night. Is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Dreams. A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? A tune. Yes. I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life, and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the Maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Vengeance. Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? Home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed. And so were we. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Jealousy. Yes. Jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoi, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. 
I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? The mountains. Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tabinta into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Hunger. Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. She wields the broken sword and separate true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Mercy. Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and Mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. Hmm. It's so cold here, brother. Do you feel it? The chill eats at my bones. Tamlin? Is it really you? You think? This cannot be Tamlin. Tamlin is gone. He is only footsteps in the dust. I am Tamlin, and yet I am not. I am part of the gauntlet, and part of you. I wish I could have told Tamlin that I tried to find him. Some things lost can never be found. Some mistakes never unmade. Those that survive must go on living. You have suffered enough, thinking that you could have done something. It is time to leave that behind. Take this. It is nothing compared to the crafts of our fathers, but it should serve you well. I wish you well, my friend. We will not meet again. for a little stealth. Hmm? That is not Luan. Some stranger. You're mine! It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me! A little frantic? Ha! I can see why! Let's get started. No mercy!
Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? Asda, normal people tend to avoid strange looking sections of floor thingies, as you say. They tend to be. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's solid enough to stand on. I but am here. It's a start. There's the trick. Each piece must be made solid in order for one of us to cross. Alistair here. Why don't we just get one person across and go from there? <sighs> what? Warden? Tell me.
make his breath. I really hate riddles. I... I... I don't know what to say. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Remove equipment. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste, and like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I... I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here... here she is. I stand in awe. Really. These are the earthly remains of Andraste, prophet and bride of the Maker. Take a pinch of the ashes. <laughs> right.
lost it. This is Moonstalker at Death Place for Walkthroughs with Luan of Dragon Age Origins. Catch you on the flip side.